I'm back for some more Solar Smash, and the things you guys told me to do today are kind of crazy. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Solar Smash. You guys might notice my voice is a little hoarse. I went to the beach with my friends, and I yelled and screamed like a crazy person. That video will be on my vlog channel very soon. So the first crazy thing you guys told me to do was go over to Jelly World. It's also called Ghost World, but you guys know I like calling it Jelly World. You guys told me to take out the grid lines and actually turn Jelly World into a cube and maybe there's like a secret easter egg i'm not exactly sure even if there's not it's gonna be fun okay so let's shorten this up a little bit so there are a couple ways i could do this but i think i'm gonna use the fire cannon i'm gonna make it a good old five out of five and you know what i'm gonna make it red i never use the red fire laser so i'm gonna try something new usually i just do purple three two one go okay oh this is gonna be so cool this is going to be so satisfying. I have never turned Jelly World into any shape, let alone a cube. So, you know, we made Cube World for Earth, but never out of jelly. And then, like I said, the other things on this post-it note just get crazier and crazier. So, make sure you watch until the end of the video. And maybe hit that like button if you want to see more Solar Smash. All right, here we go. Oh, this is turning out fantastic. So, the cool thing about Jelly World is when you blow it up, it doesn't really catch on fire. It just kind of you know, jellies its way out of the way. So right now you can barely even tell it's there because it's kind of the same color as the grid lines. But I'm going to remove those grid lines in three, two, one. Eh, 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 eh. Come on, Brandon, move the grid lines. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is even better than I thought it was going to be. Let's reset it and see if there's an Easter egg thing. Nope, it literally just turned Jelly World back into a, a sphere. Okay, well, that was awesome. Let's move on to the next thing on the post-it note. All right, the next thing you guys told me to do was go to Hades, which is one of the newer planets. It's not part of this update, but it is a newer planet. Go to the dragon, which is this one, which is awesome. If you guys haven't seen the dragon, go back and watch the old stuff. You guys said go to target mode, fire, and I could fly the dragon through Hades. So I think you guys told me to, like, try to run into an asteroid first and see what happens. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Okay, I actually didn't blow up. Now I want to see if I can, like, fire my way all the way through. Oh, this is working. I don't remember what I named the dragon. Let me know in the comments what I named this dragon. But he is an absolute boss. I mean, he is so strong that he can breathe fire through an entire planet without blowing up. And look, he could even go through... Never mind. I I thought he could fly through asteroids. Apparently, I just missed the first time around. Wait, here we go. I'm going to name him Eddie. Okay, apparently he can't fly through asteroids. Thanks for suggesting that in the comments. You just killed Eddie. I don't think his name was Eddie. Okay, I'm really excited for the next thing you guys told me to do. You guys said go to the custom planet area. Try to recreate planet Earth as closely as you possibly can without looking. So I have to recreate everything on planet Earth, population, continents, everything without looking. And then after I'm done, we're going to compare it with the actual planet Earth and probably laugh at me. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add land. I'm going to start with the United States because that's what I know best. So let's do, uh, oh, this is going to be embarrassing. Not only am I very bad at remembering things, I'm also a very bad artist. Like, even if I had planet Earth right in front of me, I don't know how well I can recreate it, but I'm going to try my best. We're going to go, uh, oh, that's a little big. Wait, can I make this a little bit smaller? Okay, yes, I need to be more precise. Okay, uh, let's close that out. All right, I'm working on the United States right now. Uh, it, it, Maine kind of goes up there, and then it comes down to, like, Florida, um, and, and then, like, down here with, like, Texas. You know what? This isn't that bad. This is a pretty darn good United States, if I do say so myself. Let's go down towards, like, Mexico. Yes, Mexico's kind of kind of like that. Uh, we're we're going to create uh, the Canada. Canada's kind of like that. Yes, yes, we've got Alaska over there. Um, the North Pole is at the top, but I'm going to make that snow. Uh, that's, I, I think, Mexico, no, Mexico. Oh, wait, I forgot about South America. Okay, I just made the United States very big. Uh, but hey, I can't restart. That's another thing. You guys said once you start, you can't restart. Actually, I don't think you said that, but I'm just making up the rules as I'm going along. Okay, uh, let's go over. Oh, I forgot about South America. Okay, um, South America is going to be very small in my world. 
<laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. Okay, let's go over to... Well, I want to move the sun so I can actually see. We're going to start working on Europe and then Asia and then Australia. I am putting my finishing touches on Australia and then the entire world will be complete. Then I have to add population and weather and all that good stuff too. Don't laugh at me, but... Let's do a tour of my planet Earth. It's it's not very good. Okay, so here is the United States. It's absolutely giant. I mean, Florida is is 10 times the size that it normally is. Um, Canada is up here. I, I completely forgot about the North Pole and South Pole, but we're going to ignore that because not that many people live over there other than, you know, maybe Santa Claus. Down here, we've got uh, Mexico, which is supposed to connect to South America, but I forgot about that. South America started getting too close to the south so I, I just stopped uh, building it but now it's it's just really small and, and kind of discombobulated you can see over here I tried to create Hawaii but I just kind of make made a glob with my finger but that's that's gonna be Hawaii um, Australia is now a circle yep Australia turned into a circle but I did kind of make it a desert which is somewhat realistic over here I think that's China that I was going for down there I added Japan over here uh, you've got, uh, like, r the top of Russia, and then the Philippines kind of down there, all the way over here. This is India. Yep, India kind of looks like the, uh, the tonsils that hang in the back of your throat. And then if we make our way over here, you know what, I'm just gonna wait until the sun comes back around. Perfect. Okay, now this is Europe over here. You can see I tried to make the Italian boot right there. Uh... But it, it kind of looks like Florida and, and also India and also China. I'm starting to notice a trend here that they all look exactly the same. Uh, over here, this is supposed to be the UK. Like right over there, you could kind of see like Ireland and stuff. And then this is the best one that I did. In my opinion, this is the best continent I did. Africa. It actually sort of looks like Africa. It, it's by far the best I did. Okay, I need to add populations. Now, I don't know the exact number, but I think there's about seven... 0.3 billion people in the world. I'm going to guess 7.3 billion. So I'm going to kind of fill in all the population starting. Let's go with Africa. We're going to start with Africa. So I'm going to add uh, a couple people there. I, I don't think there's that many people that live in Africa. I mean, there's a lot of people that live in Africa, but I don't think it's like the most densely populated continent. I'm going to put some people down there in South Africa. I feel like that's a hot spot. Um, Maybe over here, over here, and, and over there. Okay, that seems like a good amount of people living in Africa. Let's move on to Asia. Two hours later. And there we go. Okay, so let's leave the population area. So you can see if I get rid of that, we have 6.3 billion. Okay, we're actually getting pretty close to 7.3. I'm going to add 1 billion more. What is this? I don't think this landmass even exists on planet Earth. It's just kind of like a straight line that circles the entire planet. Oh, I just realized I can add population while looking at the population. You can see it down there at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to go 7.386 billion. I'm going to assume that's what the planet is. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's make it green. There we go. Okay, what else can we do? I feel like everything else is pretty accurate, right? Uh, should we add rings or... I worked so hard on that and just blew it up with a fire-breathing dragon. Okay, you know what? Get one more look at planet Earth, my version of planet Earth, and... I did, I did not like that sound. And now let's go back to the real planet Earth and see what it looks like. Okay, so right off the bat, it's 7.8 billion. I actually wasn't that far off. That was not terrible. You could see Africa. I did a pretty good job at Africa. Um, I, I think I had South America and, and Mexico not touching, which they, they do touch, but it's a very small landmass. Uh, Florida... A lot smaller than the Florida that I made, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, and what was the, like, stretch of land? Oh, I think that's just supposed to be the Pacific Ocean. I think I made uh, uh, Asia and Europe a little too far away from the United States. And then to make up for the landmass, I had to create, like, that giant bridge. Uh, and like I said, I forgot about the North and South Pole. Okay, that was absolutely embarrassing. Clearly, I am not a geography expert. Let's do the final thing on the post-it note, and it's by far the craziest one. So we've had Flat Earth, we've had Snowman Earth, Ghost World, Donut Earth, Cube World. Last week, I created Pyramid World. Today, 
You guys told me to turn planet Earth into a giant heart and try to kill as least amount of people as I possibly can in the process. So I don't know if this is going to be possible, but I am going to try to turn this earth into a heart and we're going to do it with the fire laser. I'm going to make it, you know what? I'm not going to make it five out of five because I want to be a little bit more precise. Let's make it a 3.25 and I'm going to go with blue. I've never used the blue laser before, but it actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, so we're going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to, oh, that might've been a little aggressive. That might have been a little aggressive. Okay, you know what? That's fine. We're going to live with it. I'm going to pause the simulation. I think less people die if I pause the simulation. Wait, how have I taken out half of planet Earth and only 19 million people have died? I mean, 19 million people is a lot of people. But when you compare that to the 7.7 .7 billion people that are still fine... That's actually pretty impressive. I must have just, like, taken out the Pacific Ocean or something. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, I'm going to keep working on uh, turning planet Earth into a giant heart. I'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to unpause the simulation in 3, 2, 1, go. Hey, that actually didn't come out that bad. Wait, there's like a little hump up there. I'm not exactly sure what that little hump is. And then there's like a floating landmass right there that I just exploded. That is not a terrible heart. Um, even though it's a heart, which usually means love. Everybody's dead. I, it's, it's the least loving heart in the history of hearts. Don't forget to hit that subscriber button. Let me know what you want to see next time on Solar Smash and also check out my vlog channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. New video every week. So go to that channel and subscribe and I will see all of you in the next video.